So, I get asked a lot about uh, what kind of paints I use, because I don't use any mediums. Um, cause you know I don't like all the toxic stuff and the solvents and all that, uh, you know, bad for your health. Kinda sorta, not really, I don't know. Depends on who you ask. I just, you know, I prefer to stay eco-friendly because you know I got a lot of kids and I don't need them getting sick, eating paint and all that good stuff, or whatever. So I use um, non-toxic paints, oil paints that you can use straight out of the tube. No solvent, no medium needed. If I'm not mistaken, it's, they got walnut oil in it. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's the medium they put into the paint in order for you to use right out the tube. They're extremely oily. But the ones that I use is uh, Zen Art Supplies. These bad boys right here. And uh, Geneva Fine Art. Or Geneva Art, or Artist Oil Color. Or just Geneva, however you want to. That's the Geneva. I want to talk about the Zen joints first. With the Zen uh, are pretty cool. They're a lot thicker than the Geneva ones. And they dry faster. Probably about, I would say, eight, nine hours. They should be fully dry. Unless you use a lot of white. Because if you use a lot of white, then it dries. It takes longer to dry. I don't know why. But I don't know. But with, I, I found when I use a lot of white, in my portraits or if I paint a uh, sky or something like that and I use a lot of white it takes about a day to fully dry maybe a day and a half but if you don't use a lot of white it'll be dry in like eight nine hours so I mean it's up to you what, what you're looking for as the price I think these are, you know what matter of fact let's just go to the website these little 45 millimeter tubes I think you get like eight of them for uh, 45 bucks, yeah. Well, it used to be 80, 85, but I guess it's on sale now. But um, the only color you could get by itself is white, and even that comes in a pack of three, three different whites, which, you know, whatever. They don't sell single color. Like, I can't just go buy a yellow, or I can't just go buy a red, or a blue, or black, or white, whatever. Um, you gotta buy these, like, palette, portrait palette, that they put together with a bunch of colors that I don't even use. As the Geneva's, these are like, no, these are like $25, if I'm not mistaken, the 50 millimeter. And you can buy single colors on their website, for sure. But the price is definitely different. $23.70 for the 50 millimeter, and then you get the, the 100 millimeter, which is this size. Basically double um, for 40. So you get a discount if you just buy the 100 millimeter, milliliter. And you can get the whole pack. Actually, you can get five of them if you get the 50. Let's just go with the 100. It's better to just get the 100. Five colors for 125, which is a $75 discount because if you just want, I mean, you get it's, it's $200 if you buy it individually, but if you get the whole pack of five, you get it for 125. So you save $75. You know, gas is high, so. We all need them discounts, them savings, you feel me? And they sell other stuff too on Geneva. That's another thing that's different from Zen. Geneva sells uh, easels, pretty expensive though. $1,800 for an easel? Man, you better be Picasso. A brush dip for 19 bucks, I guess you dip your brush in there and you ain't gotta worry about it drying out. But like I said, these take, maybe I didn't say, these take these dry extremely slow, probably a week, or maybe two, two weeks to fully dry if you're using white, a lot of white. Generally, you use white for most things, and if you're using a lot of it, it might take two weeks for your painting to dry. But I guess if you're painting a lot of different things at once, brush dip might be useful, or if you only paint a few hours a day, you know, and then they got the color checker for eighty-seven dollars. I could just put a piece of color on a card and check it that way. I don't see why I would pay eighty-seven dollars for a color checker, but whatever. Each is own. One thing I will say, they do have a smell. It's not a stink. It doesn't stink per se. I guess you could say it smells like uh, like cooking oil, basically. Like if you you know cooking with a lot of I don't know peanut oil or something, or, or 
vegetable oil. It got that kind of smell to it. The other thing I don't use is, the, like I say, I don't use uh, like um, turpentine or nothing like that. I use EcoSoft and uh, EcoSoft. And this is uh, basically paint thinner, brush cleaner, and all that good stuff. You also can use it to, like, say, thin your paint if you want to do like a glaze. Oh, it's dripping. You want to do like a glaze and whatnot. And you can order the EcoSoft from, I ordered mine from Amazon. You can actually order these from Amazon too. The, uh, the Zen Art Supplies, you can order from Amazon. The Geneva, I don't believe you can. I, I never have. I always just order it from Geneva website. Let me give you an example of like the fluidity using them big words. So when it comes to these Zens, Zen comes out quite thick. Now the Geneva paints real fluid, as you can see. Completely different consistency or fluidity or whatever the word you want to use. Put it next to the other white so you can really so you can really see the difference. Real fluid. This is a Geneva paint. Paint. This is a lot thicker. This is I mean they're both thick, but this one is like you know almost like glue or something. The consistency of glue. I would say far as blending goes, I mean, I guess you could still, if you're looking for the brush, if you're looking for that texture type painting where you see the brush marks, I suppose you can still achieve that effect with the uh, Geneva paint, but not as easy as you could with that. Like, as you can see, it, you know, you could paint real thick with that and see the texture in the paint. This is more so like, gonna ooze. It's like ooze <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. It's, it's real fluid. A little simple paint right quick. A little simple, something simple. Got yellow ochre, cadmium red, Start with the uh, cobalt blue. Give me a little bit of this. You know, give me a Get some dark sand. Bam. face right quick as you can see lands real good
looks more like an alien right now, but you get the point. Get some highlights in there. For the nose. Cheeks. Everybody need lips. And the upper lip. Everybody need upper lips. look like a person but wasn't necessarily trying to you know paint a you know amazing portrait here just trying to get a good idea of how you know the feel of the paint even though you can't feel the paint but you get my point
myself a humanoid. Xenox plies, pretty smooth. Now let's use the, uh, let me wipe this off. Bam. Get a little mixing area going. Still, you know, it's easy to cover up your value with these because I don't know, it's just this, yes, can't explain it. It's like a muddy or milky or whatever the word you want to use. But you know that's that's paint a la prima. If you want to just paint the traditional way where you wait for it to dry and all that good stuff, then you know you don't have to worry about it. But like I said, the Geneva paints take forever to dry. Geneva's but not impossible see as you can see it gets a little milky that's because it's real fluid you know you can't cover up one color with another that's easy Takes more work.
I was gonna say another thing to take into consideration is that I'm using one brush. Um, so, it'd be a lot easier if I was using multiple brushes, but you know, just giving a demonstration here of how each art, how each paint, you know, looks, works. Got some eyes so you can see.
just give them some big ears. That's good for now. Let's do a little comparison. As you can tell, only thing I would say you could tell off the bat, this is a lot more shinier or whatnot. Very shiny, actually. Let's get this. Listens. This one's dry. Let's get it from the side so you can really see it glistening. Not glistening. Glistening. Not glistening. But you get the point. There goes the two non toxic paints. Geneva. I'm going to leave a link in the description so if you, you know, check them out for yourself. Let's go on there. Think. All right. 